mentioned in your your first U.S. tour, you said 51 shows in 38 days. Is that that's accurate? Yeah. That's that is how you got through the U.S. Well, in, in those days, you you probably remember you did uh, you played in these. Um, I don't know what they call them though. There's a name for them in the states where you where they they do two shows a night and you. So that's what we were doing. We'd go on at sort of Super. eight o'clock to late thirty, take half an hour off. Uh, they yeah. one audience would go out, and then another audience would come in. They sort of uh, it was sort of double your money time sort of thing. I think with you know with the venue. I mean the the, the biggest problem was that when we well, it wasn't a problem obviously when we got to the states and the and the album was riding high and the single was riding high, the promoters were very keen, very, very keen to, to change into bigger places uh, because they thought, this is crazy. You're playing the bottom line and you, and the album's number four in the charts. Are you mad? Uh, but we said, no, no, we, we've booked these and, and, and we're going to do them. We'll, we'll come back later and do, and do bigger shows later on. But it felt right at the time to, to stick with what we'd planned. Yeah. And I think that was the right thing to do. Yeah. That just builds up more anticipation for when you return and, you know, yes. Yeah, so, you know, it, it, it you know, you, it becomes what they call a hot ticket. I think in America, yeah. they, call, they call it a hot ticket in the UK as well. So we've stolen that from you as well, but <laughs> um, <laughs> you made the scalpers happy with those small shows. I'm sure back in the yeah. day. Oh yes, that that's that is the only problem. I mean, unfortunately, <laughs> it's an endless problem. It, even if you play in a twenty thousand seater, yeah, it's an endless problem. It's very difficult to deal with it. Very, very difficult to deal with it. Yeah. 